A few days after his new pool table was installed, Dave invited a few of his neighbors over to the house to play pool. Eddie, an experienced pool player, stepped right up for the first game. Halfway into the game, it was Eddie's turn and he was stuck for a decent shot. There was nothing he could really do. It's an ugly table, he remarked. Dave was shocked. Better than your table, wise guy, he retorted. Ouch. As an experienced pool player knows, an ugly table in pool lingo means that the placement of the balls is problematic. This was something that Dave, however, new to the game, did not realize. He thought that Eddie was criticizing his pool table. Indignant at the imagined insult, he reacted by slamming Eddie with a snide comment to even the score. It's particularly sad when Onas Torim comes as the result of a complete misunderstanding. Yet it's common. We get upset for snarky comments we think we hear, insults we imagine we receive, and for offenses that we assume that we've suffered. In fact, no such negative comment was made. But the sirens went off in our head and we came out with guns blazing. One of the first things we should do when we feel that we've been insulted is to clarify. Make sure that what we heard is what was meant. Another important tip is to presume the positive. Expect that people are out to love you, not hurt you, especially if the person you're talking to is a friend, not an enemy. Clear your inner dialogue and let the good times roll. Try this at home. Today, when you think you hear something that sounds aggressive or insulting, ask a clarifying question. Don't assume the worst. 